everyone and welcome back to another week of vlogs in London. For those of y'all that are new here, my name is Meredith and I am currently studying abroad in London as you probably guessed. So before I get into this video, I just want to mention that if you missed weeks one and two of these vlogs, you should definitely go and check those out. I'll put links to them down below and you can see what all I've done the past two weeks, but this video is going to be my third week here. And I'm super excited about this week. It's going to be really busy, but I'm going to a lot of fun places. We're going to Oxford and to Stonehenge and then we have a trip to Paris this weekend and so I'm just super super excited but today is Monday and I am getting ready to head out the door to class I have two classes while I'm here first at like 9 a.m. I have British media and then we get a little lunch break and we can eat on the campus that we're staying at and then at 1 30 I have British literature and then after that we're heading to Oxford so I will catch up with you guys then so we have been in class all day today and now it's like 3.30ish and we are heading to the tube, which is like the train station kind of, to go to Oxford with our literature class. So that's where we're going to be for like the next two days or so. Where are we going? <laughs> we're in Oxford. <laughs> So we just made it to our hotel in Oxford. This is the bathroom. I thought I'd do a quick hotel tour. I'm staying with Sarah again. I got to stay with her in Liverpool too. So this is just the best ever. And this is our cute little room. We have a view of a parking lot. Good morning. So it is Tuesday now and we are in Oxford. Last night after we checked into the hotel, we had a group dinner just down in like the hotel restaurant. And then um, some of us hung out in here and we just chilled and like, did homework because we were so tired and had so much to do. But today we are taking like a C.S. Lewis and J.R. Tolkien major Oxford tour, I guess you could say. And we're going to all these different places to like see where they used to live and where they worked and all that kind of stuff. And right now we're about to go grab some breakfast. Here's J.R. Tolkien's house. Cool. <laughs> also, he was the author of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit any of you are unfamiliar. So right over there is a pub where the Inklings used to meet and hopefully we're gonna get to go in there later today and eat some food but we're on a tour right now um, with an author. He's in the blue jacket right there and he's taking us to a bunch of different like Inkling sites around the town. We are loving Oxford. It's absolutely beautiful here. I could seriously see myself coming back here. I really love it. Look at this view right now. So beautiful. We're on another double decker bus, setting up top, of course, heading to Eddington. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we just finished our tour of C.S. Lewis's house at the kilns. This is it from the outside. Now, we're going on a nature walk to see the inspiration for Narnia. Oh, wow, this is pretty. since we finished our tour and now we're about to head to a group dinner at this cute place up here. This is my first fish and chips meal. This what? is a big moment. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> Hello, it is now Wednesday morning and I just got back to London. It's about 10 o'clock now. Um, Sarah and I took a pretty early train to get back to London this morning because we decided that we really wanted to see the changing of the guards at Buckingham Palace. So we had to get back here pretty quickly because we have class later on. So we have to be at the Buckingham Palace at 11 o'clock. So we're just about to head out the door to go and see that, which I am so excited for. We made it to the palace, but we don't know the best place to stand and it's really crowded and it's raining a little bit. But I think they're about to come out of there. Okay, so that was really cool. We didn't see any of the royals, we don't think, but still a super cool experience. Now we're going to get lunch 
and then go to class. So it is a little bit past five now and I just got out of class for the day. I came back to the apartment and changed because we are getting ready to go to the proms tonight or like the promenade concert BBC series show thing which is like a classical music concert and our whole group is going but um some of us are getting ready to go to dinner before that but i'm not going to be bringing my camera because i'm not really sure if i am even allowed to bring it in there um but if i'm allowed to take videos i'll try and take some on my phone because i've heard that this is a really awesome thing to go to How's the concert going? So peaceful. It was very peaceful. That's true. Wow, look at all that crew. So cute. <laughs> ah! Yes? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, so it is Thursday morning now and we got back from the proms last night and yes, yeah, now it's Thursday. Sorry, I'm a little out of it. Also, I woke up kind of sick, which is really unfortunate because like everyone else and my pod has been getting sick and I was like, no, I'm not gonna get sick, I'm not gonna get sick. And I woke up feeling sick, which stinks because today we are taking a trip to Stonehenge, um, which that's gonna be really fun, but I just don't wanna be sick while we're there. We are leaving straight from Stonehenge basically to get on a train and go to Paris. So we have quite the busy day today. We're going to see Stonehenge. A wonder of the world. <laughs> we took a bunch of pictures and hope that we will make it onto our school's website. So, updates to come if we make it on there. There it is. The stones, the rocks, the hinges. So we took a bus from Stonehenge to Avebury. Avebury? Avebury, Bury. Which is a little town. And we just got some ice cream. And now we're walking around seeing some more rocks. These rocks aren't as impressive, but like, I guess they're still pretty cool. Here are some of them. And I really want to find a sheep to pet and take a picture with. Update, we found some sheep over there and I'm gonna go try and pet one and take a picture with it. Alrighty, we found some cute sheep. I don't know what to name them, but I like them. That was really stressful, you guys. We literally just <laughs> ran through the train station. Yeah, no I mean, like, we, we didn't pretty think much we were gonna make it. We didn't lose time anywhere, though. I know. Other than we the bathroom. We came straight from the bus, and food, from our field trip. So we were in there for five minutes. We made it like seven minutes to spare. I think we're the last people on the train. I feel like I'm gonna pass out, but we're gonna have to get food. We made it to Paris, and we're about to drive by the Eiffel Tower. Where is it? Oh, you can only see the tippy top right now. The trees. Every time I pull my camera out, we go by a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> there is the Eiffel Tower. Good morning, Paris. It's a beautiful day. So, we got into Paris late last night and we checked into our Airbnb and everything and it is the next morning now and we're so excited. We are kind of like in the process of getting ready and we're gonna go have some brunch hopefully and maybe go to the Louvre and have a picnic. We're not really sure, we're just kind of on our own schedule but we're here and we're so excited and our Airbnb is super cute. It kind of got messy already but there's like one big room right here. We fit three of us in that bed and then we have like a little common room in here and a kitchen in there. And then this is the kitchen. Hello, Holly. Hi. And that's the little bathroom. So it's super cute and we're so excited to be here. This is the little courtyard of our building. Um, sorry, that's our room like way up there, I think. Okay, time to go to breakfast. So we just ate breakfast in this cute little coffee shop. It was delicious and uh, now we are heading over to the Louvre. Let's get away from your parents and my heart If I could take this in a shot right now. I don't think that we can work this out. I don't want to I don't know if it's fair, but I saw how. We made it to the Louvre. It's beautiful out here. It's the perfect day to be here. It took us a long time, but we finally 
finally found the most Mona Lisa and it's crazy crowded in here. Look, look at this. There it is. Way up there. We are on an open bus tour of the city. We are about oh, to I thought that was right do some sightseeing. Like, Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Holly. It startled me. It's so beautiful out here. I'm ready to see the city. Whee! Super cute pics, of course, because gotta get that good Instagram. <gasps> it's time for my cruise. All right, I'm back on the iPhone, but we're here having a picnic outside by the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's a beautiful evening. Hi, bonjour. 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 <laughs> here it is. We're going to Disneyland Paris today and to get into the mood, we have been listening to some Disney music to get ready this morning. Andrea's super excited. <laughs> um, so yeah, last night we picked the at the Eiffel Tower. That was great. And then today we're going to spend the day at Disney. We made it to Disneyland. We gotta go buy our tickets. So we were buying our tickets and I literally got pooped on by a bird. It was all over me. It pooped on my purse and um, there's the little battle wound right there. Yeah, the little stain to prove it. And I looked down and had it on my hands and I was just like, Ugh. I ran around just to try and find a toilet and I think I got it all off, but that was disgusting. This better mean good luck for me. Here we go. There's Belle's castle. It's pink. First ride of the day is the haunted mansion. Scary. So we took a little ice cream break over in the other park and now we're in the second park. Well, yeah, the second park. There are only two parks total, um, which is Walt Disney Studios. There it is, Walt Disney Studios. Look at the sky, it's so perfect. My goodness. It's their 25th anniversary too, so that's fun. Our first stop is the Rock and Roller Coaster, which is behind me. Now we're about to go into a special France-only ride, which is Ratatouille, because, you know, it's set in Paris. So, here we go. I don't even know what to expect, but I hope it's cool. We just went on the Finding Nemo crush ride, which they don't have in America, and it was super fun. And now our last ride of the day in this park is going to be the Tower of Terror. Holly's scared, but... I don't want to do gonna it. Be fun. She's making, never done they're this making, They're before. making me do it against but, my will. But it's going to be really fun. We went on an ice cream hunt and now we are watching the fireworks show. our last day in Paris and so we are getting ready to check out of the Airbnb and say goodbye to our cute little apartment for the weekend. Bye Airbnb. See you never. So we've come out and about to grab some brunch slash lunch and I just got a delicious crepe and now 
Um, I'm eating some strawberries to try and be a little bit healthy. But the rest of the food was gone, but it was good too. <laughs> we got some Starbucks. This is a bad angle, but we got some Starbucks. We're about to go in this big department store called Printeps. Printemps? I don't know. So we are in the makeup section of Printemps, and I got some random little things, just some goodies, and it's beautiful in here. The store is so pretty. It smells so nice. So it is late Sunday night now and we just got in from the train station coming back from Paris and I wanted to go ahead and end this video here because tomorrow is Monday and so that means I'm going to be starting a new week which is crazy because this is the end of the third week and next week is going to be the fourth week and basically I'm only here for like four and a half weeks which is crazy so I have about 10 days left here which is mind blowing. I have seriously been having such a fun time and I'm just so grateful to be here but it's crazy how fast time is flying by. Anyways, um, I really hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and also to subscribe if you have not done that yet and also stay tuned for next week's video because it is coming up soon as well. So I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye!